हेलो दिस इज अदिक इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट नी जॉइंट लेगमेंट्स दिस वीडियो विल कवर एम सी एल एंड एल सी एल लेगमेंट्स इट्स अटैचमेंट्स प्राइमरी रिस्ट्रेन एंड सेकेंडरी रिस्ट्रेन लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो टू बिगिन विथ एम सी एल हैज अ सुपरफिशियल एंड अ डीप लेयर दिस इज द सुपरफिशियल लेयर एंड दिस इज द डीप लेयर डीप लेयर ऑफ एम सी एल इज अटैच टू द मिनिस्कस through menisco femoral ligament the proximal attachment of mcl is to femoral epicondyle so this is the condyle which is the articulating surface and epicondyle is the region above the condyle where all the attachments take place distally it is attached to tibia distal to pes anserinus pes anserinus is a place where semi tendinosus gracilis and sartorius these three muscles get attached Now moving to the primary restraint provided by MCL ligament it provides restraint against valgus force so to demonstrate this i made a small model so this is the femur this is the tibia this is fibula so when there is valgus force on the knee joint that is inward force on the knee if someone kicks you from outside your knee will go inward and this excess movement is prevented by mcl ligament this valgus restraint will vary according to the degree of flexion or extension in the knee joint 57% of restraint is provided in when knee is in full extension and 78% of restraint is provided when knee is in flexion so why is this any guesses the reason is when knee is in extension it is in close pack position and as we all learn in close pack position of the knee joint the capsule is very taut and capsule will stabilize the knee joint and mcl has to work less to stabilize the knee joint and hence capsule along with acl and other soft tissue structures provides the restraint towards the valgus force and hence mcl has to work less whereas in flexion mcl has to work alone and hence it provides 78% of the restraint the secondary restraint provided by mcl ligament is anterior translation and lateral rotation so anterior translation is prevented by mcl and also lateral rotation so this is the lateral side so rotation to the lateral side you can see over here the ligament getting taut is provided by your mcl ligament now moving to the lateral collateral ligament its attachments are proximally to femoral condyle on the la the lateral femoral condyle has attachment of lcl and distally it is attached to fibula along with biceps femoris so you can see this is red part is the biceps femoris and the lcl both attaching to the fibula and proximally lcl is attaching to femoral condyle LCL is an extra capsular ligament. The primary restraint for lateral collateral ligament is varus. So if there is a force on your knee outward then you can see over here the lateral collateral ligament getting taut. See? So this restraint will again vary with amount of knee flexion or extension and that is at 5 degree of flexion it provides 55% of restraint whereas at 25 degree of flexion it is providing 69% of the restraint which is very similar to mcl as the flexion increases the restraint provided by the ligament increases because other structure can no longer stabilize the knee joint in flexion the secondary restraint provided by lateral collateral ligament is lateral rotation which is same as the MCL Now I drew a diagram just to clear out the attachments on the lateral side of the knee and also wanted to mention how IT band influences the movement of the patella in the patellar groove So as you can see in the diagram this is the IT band green part which starts from gluteus medius and tensa fascia lata 
and it attaches to Jordi's tubercle. On its way, it has attachment to lateral patellofemoral ligament, which attaches to patella. Slightly posteriorly, there is biceps femoris, which attaches to fibula, and here is the LCL ligament, which has attachment to fibula and the femur. In my last video, I said that IT band is attached to patella through patellotibial ligament, which is true, but the positioning of the patella is influenced by lateral patellofemoral ligament and if the IT band gets tight it can influence the movement of patella in the patellar groove. If this structure gets tight over here the patella will move laterally. So if I draw the knee joint from front this is the patella and patella has attachment to the IT band from side. So if there is tightness over here, there will be lateral force on the patella and patella will shift laterally. As you can see, this is the patella and patella will shift laterally. Hence the smooth movement of patella in the patella groove will be hampered and this can be a main cause of patellofemoral pain syndrome. So to summarize, we talked about the lateral attachments on the knee. We also talked about ligaments LCL and MCL, their attachments, primary restraint which is varus for LCL and valgus for MCL, secondary restraint which is lateral rotation for LCL and anterior translation and lateral rotation for MCL. And we also discussed how these restraints vary according to the degree of knee flexion or extension. Thank you for watching. If you like the content, don't forget to share, like and subscribe the channel. Do let me know in the comment section what other topics you would like me to cover. I never made it, but I know